By now, I imagine a good chunk of people are hitting level 30 and starting to get into challenge modes. I was toying with the idea of having a general challenge mode video guide where I just kind of talk about challenge mode tactics and builds and stuff, and I'll do a little bit of that here. But today's video is to explain why you and your entire party should be using Smart Cover. Smart Cover is a security ability that boosts your damage and damage resistance for a short time, which can be upgraded in a couple of different ways. Seems like a pretty good bonus, until you realize that this bonus can stack. As in, if you and all of your teammates are using it at the same time, you will have insane damage boosts and resistances. On top of that, if you're all using the Recharger mod, you will gain health regeneration and decreased skill cooldowns, meaning you can just spam Smart Cover over and over again. Note that Smart Cover doesn't just cover the one piece of cover you're sitting against, but rather a small radius of cover, 8 meters for me, for example. So if you're in another piece of cover that is 8 meters or fewer away, you'll still gain the benefit, but you do need to be locked into cover in order to gain the benefits. You can leave the cover for a very brief time and still have the benefits, but they'll quickly fall off. My smart cover grants a 28.3% damage buff, so as you can see by these clips, when stacked multiple times, this damage boost just gets out of control. Hell, the damage resistance is a ton of fun as well. Watch as me and my team literally just sit in fire. We are barely scratched at all when normally fire would take off half of your health. This is the power of smart cover. However, you and your team need to be at least somewhat coordinated in your teamwork. If you are just dropping smart cover willy-nilly with no sort of stacking or teamwork, you're really not going to see a huge benefit. Having spots where you know you should meet up is the first step in being able to power through challenge modes. This is a much more offensive way at conquering challenge mode missions. There are definitely some missions where you'll want a piece of crowd control here and there, and for those, you can simply switch skills when needed. Good supplementary skills to go along with Smart Cover are Pulse and Support Station. Pulse just further increases the damage you deal to enemy targets, and since its range is so wide, it'll usually hit an entire group of enemies. Support Station with literally any upgrade is also a fantastic skill with Smart Cover. Life Support automatically gets people back up, Immunizer makes players immune to status effects, namely being on fire, and Ammo Cache also gets your skills back faster via reduced cooldowns. So you drop Smart Cover, stack it together, then drop an Ammo Cache to further the skill cooldowns to spam more Smart Cover. It's just an endless set of bonus damage, healing, and damage resistance. Four Smart Covers, two Pulses, and two Support Stations will have you blitzing through challenge modes in 20 to 30 minutes. Who needs crowd control when you can just sit in enemy fire because of the insane damage resistance? Then, on top of all of that, you could use the talent Tech Support, where killing an enemy extends the duration of any active skills by 10%. It's not a significant duration increase, but it could give you a few extra seconds here and there. It's not hugely vital to the experience, though. As for signature skills, my group usually runs with three people on either Recovery or Survivor Link, and one person with Tactical Link. Tactical Link is not hugely vital to the challenge mode experience because it has such a short duration, and all it takes is one poorly timed activation for it to do nothing, although it's great for bosses. Recovery Link is nice for when your team gets a little too spread out and you need some emergency heals or revives, and Survivor Link is great for when you run into those similar oh crap moments, except you haven't been downed yet. Have a good mix of them. I would not recommend stacking something like Tactical Link on everyone unless you are very confident in your abilities or you are all running Midas and the trained talent is actually working again and are also very confident in your abilities. It honestly would not surprise me if this was nerfed in the near future, although it takes a good amount of coordination to make sure you're constantly under the benefits of stacking so many buffs. But right now, this is definitely one of the best group builds that you could be using for challenge modes. Insane damage boosts, great healing, cooldown reduction, and damage resistance. I don't know what more you could ask for. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.